Good morning, and welcome back to Withrow Urban Homestead. Today, we're going to pot up petunias. Now, I've already prepared some four-inch pots. And I'm using ProMix Organic Potting Soil, the garden mix. I also like their moisture control. Now, I sowed these seeds thickly because petunia seeds are tiny. So we're gonna divide some when it's possible. Now they didn't germinate well, so I had to sow them a second time. That's the reason there's a variety of sizes. Now these bigger seedlings, they were sown five and a half weeks ago. The big ones, they germinated in nine days. The first round of petunia seedlings are four weeks old. Now the seeds do need light to germinate and they were under a light so that wasn't the issue. The issue was temperature. I sowed these at the end of January and the furnace was running. And in February, normally the furnace runs constantly and this room is warm. But this February, we didn't have our normal temperatures. We had a lot of warm days where the furnace didn't run at all. And petunias prefer a germination temperature, let me check my notes, of 75 to 80 degrees. So that means next year, I'm gonna germinate them on a heat mat. I've never had to do that in the past, but that's gonna be my practice from now on. They're going to grow inside under lights for seven more weeks. 
I'm going to start bringing them outside a few hours every day and increase that time to get them used to the weather after our last freeze. And here in North Central Maryland, that's beginning of May. Then we're going to plant them into our green stalk planter two to four weeks after our last freeze. Here, that's mid-May. Now we are going to pinch the middle. Let me show you one I've already done. I did that a few days ago. And that's going to cause it to branch out and give a fuller, bushier plant. If I don't do that, they'll get spindly and fall over. They'll be weak. But today I feel like I've stressed these enough, so I'm going to wait. And I'll pinch them back later. Now the soil was really dry because I had the pots on the furnace to keep the soil warm and it dried it out. But the plants are so fragile, I'm going to go ahead and bottom water. I'll come back later and check and if there's water left in the tray, I'll move the pots to a dry tray. I don't want them sitting in water. This room is full of new life. I absolutely love it. Thank you for visiting Withrow Urban Homestead. See you later. Bye-bye.